Are you getting no results with Google Ads rather than blaming the Google gods or blaming your competitors or some other reason? The main reason for why your Google Ads campaign are getting sucky results is because your ad copy is sucky. And the simpler formula is, Sucky ad copy means sucky campaigns means sucky results, which means no money for you and wasted money to Google Ads because you're spending money on your Google Ads campaign for no results. I'm amazed that pretty much every time I go through and review underperforming campaigns, one of the core underlying issues is the fact that the user or the account manager has just put no time into their ad copy. I mean, seriously, their ad copy reads like a never ending greatest hits album from Nickelback where every song sounds exactly the same. And we see the same thing in their ad copy where all of the 15 headlines are exact repeats of themselves. Maybe with one word different here or one little change between the different headlines. And I think for one of the reasons for why people are just not spending time in their ad copy now is because there's this mistaken belief that with all of the increased AI that Google is using is that Google will look after that problem for you. And that's just simply not the case. Taking the time to write proper ad copy is still a very required skill for success with Google Ads. And especially nowadays, because there is a lot of lazy Google Ads account managers, if you're prepared to take the time to really get creative with your ad copy, your ads can stand out so that you not only get that click, but you also get that conversion. Let me show you a quick example right here. I've just done a quick search for home security cameras. And when we look at these top ads, you can see here, you know, my place smart home, bring your home to life, fixed price CCTV cameras, no hidden or ongoing fees, just boring ad copy. Imagine if someone took the time to write some ad copy, which is gonna to speak to the user, something around about like stopping porch pirates. So you could imagine if you're a user who's sick of getting your Amazon parcel stolen by those pesky porch pirates, if this home security camera company had taken the time to write something like that, like stop porch pirates or keep your family safe. It's pulling on more emotional triggers, which is more likely to get those clicks and ultimately those conversions. So to save your Google Ads campaign dying a death from boring ad copy, what I wanna do in this video is I wanna share with you the four winning strategies of what you need to include in your ad copy if you're gonna see success with your Google Ads campaigns. Now, just before we get into those four winning strategies, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young, I'm from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And to help you further, what I want to do today is I wanna to give you free access to my Google Ads optimization checklists. And these are checklists which are designed to give you prompts and let you know exactly what you need to be optimizing in your Google Ads campaigns. And it also takes it a step further by not only letting you know the optimization actions that you need to complete, but it also lets you know when you need to complete those actions, whether it's every 72 hours, every week, every month, or every 90 days. And if you wanna get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, which I've got not only for my search campaigns, but I've also got an e-commerce optimization checklist, which is perfect for your performance max and shopping campaigns, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. But right now, let's go into a screen share so I can break down those four key attributes that you need to have if you're gonna win with Google Ads and especially your ad copy. Let's go. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you through those four key elements that your headlines need to include. And the first one is, is that you do need to have a keyword focus. Now, the reason for why this is important is because we know that with a keyword focus, and what we mean by that is that if your headlines are including ad copy, which the user has used in the search query, it improves the click-through ratio as people see what they are searching. And the other reason for that as well is that Google also includes a keyword focus in the ad quality scores. Now, this is the one thing that people generally do get right in their ad copy. But unfortunately, what happens is that people just have with their 15 headlines that they can have in their ad copies, we know that Google will show two or three of those, is that they'll all be different variations of this keyword focus. So I'm not going to spend too much time in this point because this is the one thing that people do generally have in their ad copy. But just the problem is, is that they only have keyword focus in their ad copy. And what we want to do is we want to build out our ads with having these three other core factors. And the first one, one is, is also a brand mention. Now, once again, this is one that people will sometimes have, but it is a bit of a no-brainer for me. And the reason why I'm saying this is that you're paying for the ads, so don't waste the opportunity to get your brand name in front of people. Especially 
especially as well if you're a newer brand that you don't have that high level of brand recognition. By including your brand name in your headlines, it's a way of getting the word out and letting people know that you are here. So even if they don't click on your ad this time around, when they complete another search, and whether that would be in two weeks, three weeks, a month, or even three months from now, they may recall your brand name. So it won't be like they're hearing about you for the very first time. And now I wanna get to the last two points. And this is where people will generally miss out. And this is probably the most common place where I see people don't include these in the headlines. And the first one is a strong call to action. Now, this one is kind of funny to me because this is nothing new. Because what you're wanting to do with a strong call to action or a CTA is that you wanna give them a really clear instruction of what do you want them to do today? And not only further on that, was what benefit will they get? Now, the other premise that what I'm really looking at here is that I find this is powerful because what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to already introduce the idea of what you're wanting people to do before they even get to your website. So if you're wanting them to fill out an inquiry form or get a free quote, I like putting that in my ad copy because then you've already pre-primed them or prepared for them for that when they actually get to your website, they're gonna see that same messaging. So, you know, get a free quote today or, you know, even something like shop now for a 20% off that when they then get to your website, they're also seeing that same messaging. So the strong call to action is not only about getting them to click on your ad, but what it's also about, it's also about introducing the required action of what you're wanting that user to do today. And then finally, and this is the big one that is missed out. And this is all about using emotional triggers. Remember that screen share I showed you at the start of this video where we're looking at home security options. And if the company had to put something in there about stopping porch pirates, if you were a user and you're searching for home security cameras and you saw that there was one ad that specifically said about stopping porch pirates or keeping your family safe, if that messaging lined up with the reason for why that user was completing the search, they're much more likely to click on your ads. So what we're looking about here with emotional triggers is you're trying to build out some level of curiosity, even a fear of missing out, so FOMO. And what you're wanting to do here is you're wanting to either talk to their pain or you're wanting to talk to their need. What is the pain that they're feeling? You want to heighten that pain or what is the problem they need to solve? Once again, you're putting emotion behind that. So let's break this down a little bit further. And I really like to put this down into two core categories. There's the ones that Google likes, and this is your keyword focus. And as we've spoken about, that improves click-through ratio. But then what you also do need for success with Google Ads ad copy is you need to have these elements that users like. And that is these options. That's the strong call to action. And then obviously as well, the emotional triggers. So for success with ad copy, you really wanna make sure that you have not only what Google likes, but also what the users like. And let me show you an example of this. This is three of my historically best performing ads. And this one in here, you can see that it has the keyword focus. It also has a sale on now. So the keyword focus is the one bedroom Seminyak Villa. The call to action is the sale on now where they can even save up to 45%. And then the curiosity and humor. So the emotional trigger here is all about skinny dipping in your own pool. And the reason for why I wrote this is because when we were, when we're comparing our search ads with other competitors' ads, they're all saying things like, and at the time we were also saying things like, you know, swim in your own private pool or private pool villa. We took it a step further and generated that curiosity and a little bit of humor of getting the user to think, you know, I can skinny dip in my own pool. So asking that question, can I skinny dip on my holiday? And we even saw that when it came to the inquiry, people would double check that question and saying, look, is it okay to do that when I stay at your villas? And then there's other options like this where there's just a straight keyword focus. And then we also use the emotional trigger of fear of, we removed the fear with a guarantee where we offered the guaranteed best price. And then there was another one in here, which was just once again, the keyword focus and a strong call to action. So that's the four key elements that you need to be including in your Google Ads ad copy if you wanna be seeing success with your Google Ads campaigns. Now also one final thing that I do wanna stress is that this is only the first step because you don't only need to have well-written ad copy that has those four key elements of the keyword focus, of the brand mention, of a strong call to action, and of also those emotional triggers because what you also wanna be doing is you also wanna be having a set process for how you're gonna split test your ad copy. And to help you with this step-by-step -step process of how you split test your ad copies in Google Ads correctly, I want you to go through it and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in that ad copy split testing video right now. See you later.